A most blessed day and welcome to a brand new series. I will be replacing Fable Anniversary on every Friday with a Digimon game. And we're going to start off with my all-time favorite, Digimon World 1 from the PS1. This is a game that hold, I hold very dear to my heart and I've finished many times. And uh, this time around, I will actually be attempting a 100% run. In terms of evolutions at least, I, I don't really know. Anyone watching this is probably familiar with the game already. If you're not, it takes place in the Digimon universe, which is a very cool universe. It's kind of like a monster team of universe. Where you have your own digital pal. And uh, it's really cool. Unfortunately, this is the first game in the series as far as I am aware. So not every Digimon is available here, unfortunately. But we'll manage with what we get. Wait, well, let's get started. First episode is going to be uh, me starting off. I will probably do some training before moving on. But I don't really know. There's no sound. That's weird. Let me fix that. I believe I have fixed it. Now I just need to uh, put it on the recording. One sec. Do you have a Digivice? Sure. I see. Next question. Which you like better, day or night? This is kind of a awkward choice after me because uh, this will decide which style of Digimon you get. But I am a night person, so I'm gonna be in gag. What's your name? My name is Aegis. Pleasure. Wait, that's not good. There we go. Aegis, right? Yep. What's your Digimon's name? Hmm, that's a good question. It's gonna be my partner, so we're gonna name it Stella. Very pretty name, and you are now officially a girl, no matter what you say, as my Digimon. Yes, good name. That's all the questions I have. See you later. Okay. Well, some things never change. I uh, accidentally had the game audio way too loud. I forgot to adjust it, so it overrules my voice entirely. I will voice over when I need to, but I deeply, sincerely apologize. But then again, if you are a regular viewer, you are probably used to this by now. Either way, enjoy the episode. can tell how old this game is. I wish I could upscale it so the resolution would be better. I did try with the emulator, huh? but I couldn't really get it to go further than this. If you can call it a video game, we are playing a video game, but he is not. There's the music. Final City. Bye. <laughs> 
wait, John Tokomo. This is Bill's dream. Angus, this is the dream. But it's not exactly real either. What are you talking about? Who are you? I am Kitty Boy. I don't know of any Digimon by that name. There are more Digimon than you know of. This is Digimon World. Digimon World? This world is not a dream, nor is it real. It is our world. Gee, it looks so real to be a dream. Look behind you, you'll see what I mean. What? Is this not? I'm a magma now, I got sucked into that digital keychain.
when I finish, we'll continue. Because this is not exactly the interesting part of this game. Now I figured I should introduce you to the stats screen. This is how you can actually see what the stats in Digimon are. Which are going to be very important, because this is the only way to digibolt them. They need to reach certain milestones, because otherwise they'll die of old age before you and these are the moves they can learn, as you can see there's quite a few. Completing this is the uh, hellish task. So I actually don't use Gabamon all that often. So I am not entirely sure what stats I should train in this game. But uh, I will get a hundred ish of pants and like 1500 HP and then we'll move on. And those icons of what to have, like the little text bubbles, they will show what he needs to do. It's uh, literally kind of a uh, pet simulator, I suppose. You take care of your pet, you treat him well, you do a person. He needs to go poo poo, of course. Yes, there's a Digimon toilet. Make too many care mistakes, it will digivolve into a literal poop digimon, so that's something you want to avoid. Anyway, this is kind of how it works. There's these uh, training items that this specific stats. This is for HP. The icons will basically show what it does. This one isn't exactly clear. This is defense. So that's everything uh, explained. I will go train a little bit and see you in a second when we continue. Oh, and I figured I would show this as well because this is a very important thing for anyone that's going to try this game out. If you don't let the rest stick in diet, then that will actually cost you stat points. So it's very important. And uh, this is how you must go back to the digital steps. And go to this that little squiggly thing, and he will let you rest. For every four to five hours of training, at a rookie stage, you have to let it rest one hour. And never, ever make it rain for an hour and six times in a row, because that's not the end of it. That's kind of the basics of this game. If you do that correctly, it will be digital. But obviously, when I first played this, I was very young. I uh, had no idea what I was doing. Still, I managed to get the correct digital illusion that I wanted. It's kind of impressive. I still don't know how I put that on, but uh, I did. It's pretty cool. Good memories. I love playing this game as a kid. It's great. Training. Uh, he's about to go to sleep. That's why I don't see the video running right now. There it is. Each type of digital sleeps at different times. These types also sleep at the normal hours, which is the nine to twelve p.m. And when you sleep, that's when you get to save the game, which is uh, shown right here. And when it sleeps, it's really sports. some food, which you definitely should. Something to keep in mind, uh, each type of Digimon eats a different amount, much like humans. If you have a large human, you need more food as well, that kind of applies to the digital world, but times three.
there's a few ways around that, and I will be showing those as well. Because the focus below us, which is here, I'm not gonna go there yet, which we immediately get our first boss battle. This game is kinda brutal. It is an easy fight, but that's why I tend to do a little bit of training. It also helps the thing difficult, so that's that as well. Besides, who doesn't like a strong little Digimon, right? You don't want it to be weak. But it will die, and if it dies, then I am sad, and I don't want to be sad. Yeah, you are a brutal little creature, aren't you, Stella? Such a good girl. Very strong indeed. Okay, that will do for HP training. Now you can go run a little bit. Now you should be good to go. I'll get the speed to 100. And then we'll go do a fight. I'm out of food, so technically uh, we don't have much of a chance. You don't see that though. Oh, oh, shit. I guess we're fighting now. Yeah, I guess we're fighting now. That's fine. Wait, maybe I can avoid it. I know I've managed to do it once. Let's see if we can pull it off. Is it a monster board? Ah, yeah. uh, damn it. Damn it! I like playing as me in the games. And at the night, could you uh, come to the city? City? You mean that old place? Uh, uh, hmm. Okay, I'm Angamon. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Welcome to the world. Let's 
Important. I will show you in a second why. We're gonna go home first. You hate fighting. In that case, come to the city. It's peaceful there. The 
city. Sounds like fun. I'm home. You'll find me useful, but very messy. Let's go home. I'm gonna make sure we fight nothing on the way there, though, because uh, I'm in big trouble. Those are the ones you would try to avoid when your digital is as strong yet. Because it definitely makes you look a lot. So eventually this entire uh, square is gonna fill up uh, with our ships. And even some of and such. It's kinda cool. Right now it's all empty because we only have recruited two digital so far. One of which is uh, right here. It's Agamemnon's storage which I will be taking use of really quick because our inventory is very limited and we certainly do not need bandages and medicine with us when we get sick we can just go home and heal it up it's fine either way now to show you the big deal on as to why you want to rush home on as soon as you can look at that she which is a uh, rookie stud uh, in training stage, actually. Then I want the digital ball set to make one. Hi, Angus. I expanded my meat bar. I'll give you three pieces of giant meat a day. Do you want extra? I'll sell it to you for 500 bits of each. I'll be in charge of this one for Then I want the piece for instance. Here's three pieces of giant meat for today. Thank you. So, if we could have gone here and uh, cleaned the meat from Then already, we would not have received the giant meat. And what giant meat does is like double the amount of normal meat and it also gives it more weight. As I mentioned earlier, weight is kind of important due to some digivolutions requiring a certain weight. It's uh, kind of important to unlock this as soon as you can. It also just makes everything easy. Unfortunately, I went AFK for a minute and walked on the ground. This is how it would look. to show you what happens in the it's time. He gets a really bad mood and this little thing appears above his head. If you see this as bad news, you better go and rest. So if that happens, you go here. It usually takes about two or three times to get rid of it. Depends on how tired you made your war digital. Poor Stella. She is such a good girl. Well, she was barely tired, so only one minute this time. She'll get another hour of rest. You gotta take good care of your digital is important. Such a sweet girl deserves some sleep. And like I said, every morning we gotta play new food. Make sure you don't forget that because it's very limited. Obviously, you don't get to. If you miss a day, that means well, unluck. Good morning, Belmont. I would like my daily meals. Thank you very much. Sometimes she gets you double. I still haven't figured out what that happens, but she does. 
back to train him. Oh, I figured I would explain it. I forgot. Uh, so... Some enemies can drop these ships, and this can lead to the bottom. They will boost the max range by the, uh, level of 50. Well, that depends on what ship it is, because there's one for every stat. So, if I was to feed this to, uh, Stella, she would go from 83 brains to 132. Usually, you don't want to do this, because those ships also take away actual, uh, life expectancy. It's kind of like they can stand out in real life, I suppose. Although, I don't really know the easy max that you set, so I'll be honest, but, yeah. It's like that, it's, uh... Drugs. Digimon drugs. Yep. And that brings us to day 5. Days go really fast. She got some more from that. That place in the beginning. I am using the turbo because uh, these videos will make 10 to 9 snake with noise. I'm honestly not in the mood. I have a lot of stuff to do. For boss fights and such, or this, so the training in this game just takes a lot of time. If you were curious, I've been at it for uh, 15 minutes now, or something like that. I'm gonna go get her um, speed up to 150, brains to 100, and the defense will go to 100 by getting the MP to 1200. So I'll report back to you when that's finished. Oh, I suppose I trained enough. Um, this is what the digivolution looks like. It's kind of cool, it's kind of cool. She does really good, honestly. Well then, that's not good. That means I didn't get enough milestones. Uh, when you get this thing, this horrible teacher. Later down the line, it's not that big of a deal because he will become a multi-mon, but right now, it's, uh, yeah, we uh, don't want this. So, I suppose what's gonna happen now is, uh, I'm gonna trade until this thing dies. I, I believe so, because I, I don't wanna play with this thing. pretty soon and we can restart with a fresh Digimon because this is awful. Uh, these are really weak in case you hadn't understood that. And they can only learn, that's right, filthy moves. Which are all really bad. Yup. It is uh, quite unfortunate. Alright, let's see if this thing can even be a Digimon.
Ricky Veramon dropped a recovery accident. Well, now you know why we need to get rid of this uh, beautiful creature. I am gonna spend the rest of this life trying to get a food for the next generation. Obviously, that is a best case scenario where you get like three resets in one go, but no, it doesn't seem to be possible. I didn't think so, but I've never seen it happen, so. But I was curious nevertheless. I'm still trying to get a food for the next generation of Digimon. Not much luck so far. And this is another one of them, it's a blue apple, and I'll show you what it does. If you feed this to a Digimon, it will make the happiness go up, which is the uh, apple bar in the bottom right. But it does something that it doesn't say as well, it also gives um, 5 kilograms iron, if I go correctly. I'm not 100% sure that anymore, as I say it, but a lot of these items have like, beneficial side effects, and I believe this is one of them that So it will do. You can actually get injured if you uh, do a battle where she takes a lot of damage. Fine for now, I suppose. Just 
beautiful episode. If you could be so kind to comment below which act you want me to do to be more loving to fight by doing this. Let me make sure. Number one to four. Something done with with this uh, slender guy. Not sure what, but surely we can do something. Wait, I know actually. Uh, yeah, 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 that's where we need to go now. There's an area we must go to unlock your first shot. Uh, I believe it's currently the time to do it. It's specific time of the day. Only then they will appear. Teamwork. Let's play the game. You bet. But one way if we get them back in time, well, they still need their plus plus. Even though it's uh, oh. hey, there it is. What I was about to say is giant meat is worth more than normal meat, even though it's only twice as much. So it's actually smarter to sell the giant meat and buy the small meat than return it's stealing it and that it's cheaper.
Again, my sincerest apologies about the audio quality in the first episode. I don't know why, but my first episode or anything I ever do were just completely cursed. Either way, I hope it was enjoyable. Um, if you did, please leave me a like. And if you would like to see more, I upload every Friday and Saturday. Uh, subscribe, I suppose, if that's something you're interested in. Have a blessed day, and I will see you next week.